How's it going everybody? This is Brian Funk. Thanks for watching. Today I want to talk to you about Frostbite 2 by AudioThing. Frostbite 2 is a spectral freezing plugin that has reverb, delay, ring modulation. It's really handy for creating soundscapes and ambient sound textures or even just as a cool delay or reverb. Um, right now AudioThing is offering this to my music production club as the July 2020 download. So if you're a member of the music production club during July 2020, you're going to get Frostbite 2. So let's take a look. I've got my 100-year-old piano device here, and it's clean, as you can hear. And we're going to turn on Frostbite and see what it sounds like. This is a preset called Chimes. There's a lot of really great presets in here for all kinds of different sounds. Let's do a quick run-through. church it's really nice i just pick another one at random here how about this pseudo bit crush gives you an idea of just some of the range of this device and one more it's a nice reverb kind of a delay combination so um the way this works is you've got a freeze, which is really like your reverb. You've got the feedback, which is your delay, and your ring modulator. And you can set these up in any order. You can move things around just like that. Switch the positions. Or you can have these in parallel mode where the signal goes through each one separately. There's also an LFO that you can use to modulate any parameter. So I'm going to turn off the ring modulator and the feedback for now and just play around with the reverb for a second to show you what this is capable of. I'm going to crank this up all the way so it's 100% so it will freeze. And this is really where Frostbite shines in my opinion. So any notes I play now will be frozen. And I can turn off freeze. I can maybe cut out some of that high end and low end with the filter. Just play around with the frozen sound if I want. We can change the width to make this a wider sound. And now I've got kind of like a bed to play over. And these notes are not being frozen. We could turn on our feedback, which is our delay. Put it into ping pong mode. And now we've got a delay on our sound. all over this bed of reverb that has been frozen. And we could even bring in our ring modulator. Since we're in parallel mode, these are all going to be processed separately. This is in a synced mode right now. Let's turn it into an unsynced mode. Maybe turn the mix up a little bit on this. Maybe I want to modulate the ring mod frequency. So I've got that set in my destination. I can just turn this up a little bit. Slow down the rate. We can change the filter type. And if we want to start letting that freeze die out, we can dial back this knob called fade and it slowly fades out. Let's take a look at the sound on a classical guitar. So here's our classical guitar. So let's play around. Let's turn on freeze. So we need to activate the plugin. We'll turn on freeze. And this is the init sound that I'm going to play with. We got a nice frozen thing going on here. We'll turn off the ring mod and the feedback. This is 
in spectral mode, which gives us a certain type of freezing algorithm. And maybe we'll modulate that parameter, the mid-frequency and the freeze. That's going quite wild right now. You can just hear that movement we're getting. We can change the waveform of our LFO. Maybe we'll do like a ramp up. Could sync that to our tempo if we want. That would give our sound like a nice rhythmic thing. Maybe we'll switch this into reverb and we'll play some other notes. And that's frozen and since we have the fade all the way up it's going to last forever. We can turn off our freeze and start playing on top of it. Maybe bring in our delay again. ping pong, some width on our freeze. I might even turn my delay time up a bit on here. this up almost all the way. We'll get some crazy feedbacking on our delay. And now I could even go back to my piano if I want. Turn on my freeze to give us some nice frozen piano behind that. Turn off freeze. Let's crank this all the way up. And maybe this will be like a higher pitched sound. Maybe we'll modulate that same parameter here with the LFO. Give us some movement. down, lower our fade and let that all kind of fade out gradually on its own. You can have a lot of fun with Frostbite. I'm really excited about this plugin. It's so cool for soundscapes, ambiences, and it's even nice just for reverb, a different flavor of reverb or a different type of feedback or just to use the ring mod. I mean, there's really like a couple different effects built into this, but they all come together to make these really cool frozen worlds. So I want to thank Audio Thing for making this available to the Music Production Club during July 2020. And if you're interested, check it out. Go to brianfunk.com slash mpc to join the Music Production Club and get yourself Frostbite 2, as well as a lot of cool other downloads. And I got some nice Zoom meetings that we're going to have exploring Frostbite for sound design, and also this month we'll be doing some stuff with like some hardware in synthesizers and effects. So don't miss that. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.